AirTech Super Cup deal. Just giving a little update on what's going on today, the way I'm doing things on this particular plane. Uh, as far as wing tips, I'm using a carbon fiber wing tip that's sold by Carbon Concepts. I wasn't going to go to the process of trying to make my own. He had one that I think they call it a Dakota style. I really liked it because it already had the inset uh, molded in for the strobe light or near nav lights and you didn't have to put that extra holder out there like on a cub style wing. Uh, as always, whether it's a fiberglass tip or whatever, I end up with, you know, the edge getting kind of waffly and I don't like just drilling a lot of holes in that. So the way I cure that is I take a thin piece of aluminum and I've got this one already painted with a little J section on it. But when I get it on, I will end up encapsulating this and that, that way every one of those little wavy edges will go down in that groove. So you end up, you know, with it encapsulated like that. You may have to re-drill the hole if it comes in line with that hole. But that all holds it down and it doesn't, you know, protrude or look real bad. Uh, the reason I did that, partly for weight, or I was trying to save weight, but I want to show here, I've, I've mentioned several times about Javron, the workmanship there. This is the tip that comes on the wing and it looks, it looks really nice. It doesn't come way out like a normal cub wing tip. It's pretty close, but it angles up to the top as far as the top of the wing is keeping the same shape all the way out to the edge. Uh, and I was going to have to have a little something on the end to mount a wing light to this anyhow, but I was trying to save weight and I was just trying to do something different. And the wing tip that Concept sells, you know, pretty well fit the need for what I was wanting to do with this. Uh, the weight say what I ended up with, and it wasn't a tremendous amount of weight savings, but I'm, I like doing these just to prove and keep up with just really where I'm at. I don't, I really, like I've said before, I hate it when someone gives me this ridiculous number of what their plane weighs and I ask them how they do it. And the first thing they say is they use thin washers. That, that just don't fly with me. Here's what the wing tip come up actually. The parts I removed, that was the bow, the ends of the spar and everything per wing was 31.5 ounces. The carbon tip, and that's including this little thin piece of aluminum, is 21 and a half ounces. So there's a 10 ounce saving times two wings, so 20 ounces. That's basically all I saved was a pound and a quarter, which is substantial if you want to times that by 50. I mean, it's all the little things that you do. Um, that's just where I come up with on them, but it wasn't all together. If I really was wanting to go the other look, that pound and a quarter wouldn't have been worth the expense and the trouble of changing them. But I just, the way the design and stuff I'm doing, I like the looks of that wing tip. The light that's going in the wing tip, uh, I got these actually with the kit, but I've, I've seen them in the wheeling. Uh, they say on them a daylight something. I don't know the exact number of them, but the reason I went with those, there is a little savings. And a lot of times I'll use the Whelan Orion, the 650s. And I had a set of those here. And per wing, they weighed 117.9. This little light weighs 63.4 grams. So that's a saving of 54.5 grams per two wings. It's 109 grams. That's 3.8 ounces. It's almost a quarter of a pound. And we know that weighs a lot less than your traditional strobe, you know, that has the power unit or whatever with it. So there's a little bit there. I mean, it's just a quarter of a pound, but Jay offered these with the kits and I checked the weight on them and it, and it does, and they're, they seem to be just as bright, but they're just a little lower profile. They're, they, they look real nice and they're all concealed. So that's what I went with on this one. Finishing up the lights, uh, I just came up with a small kind of a carbon fiber with an angle on it that will sit inside the wing. They'll have LED lights in them. Uh, these will be the side covers that fit in the end. And instead of a two light system, I'm just gonna put one light in each wing tip. So here's what I've had so far. These little wing tip units and all the rest of the parts to mount the light in them uh, are only 85.8 grams a piece. It's 171. 0.6 or six and a half, 6.05 ounces. That's for both of them. 
that will be equivalent to a double light unit. Now I've seen a lot and I've did it in the past. Go ahead and put the Piper style double unit in each wingtip. Well, that's even more weight. So what I'm doing is doing the same amount of light as a single double. And when I find one around here, I can weigh, I'll have the weight savings on that. So I'm doing, have the light capacity of a double unit, but I'm just gonna have one in each wingtip. And then I'm gonna add two small ones on the cabane if they hardly weigh anything. So this, this will come up later on just what I saved there, but I know what those dual light systems, you know, when you just pick them up, they do weigh a lot more. Not gonna compare the weights of the lens because I'm gonna have two lens. It's gonna equal about the lens. Uh, I won't have the trim pieces because these will be inset in behind this. So that one will be to come, but I, at the end of this build, I'll have everything available on what I saved, but I haven't got the final number on this yet. That's all I got going today. Thank you.